So let's go ahead and create a name parameter for a SQL statement that we'll make here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a string here. I'm going to call this statement. And we're going to set this equal to the text. So we're going to do select star from products where product ID equals and we'll do at product ID. So we'll need to fill this in with a parameter and the parameter name should be product ID. So the first thing that we need to do in this case is we actually need to get a SQL command so that we can inject a parameter into it or add in a parameter. So we can do this, we can create a using statement here and we'll go ahead and create our command. We'll set it equal to DB, but we need to move DB up so that we have access to it. So I'll move it up here. So it's going to be DB dot get SQL string command and we're going to pass in our statement here. And this is going to return us back a command and we'll make sure that we put this outer using here so that we get rid of this command properly when we're done using it. So then we'll just go ahead and call on our DB add in parameter and we'll specify the command that we're going to add the parameter to then we'll specify what the name of the parameter is, which is product ID. We don't need the at sign here. And then the type. In this case, this is an in32. And then the value that we want to put in here, let's go ahead and put in a value of one. So we'll get product ID one. So now we can go ahead and execute our reader here. So we actually don't need to set the command type here. We can just pass in our command since we already know what the type is when we call this get string command it already set all that on the command for us so we can just use this command here and we should be able to get the products by the product name and there should just be one with product id one let's go ahead and run this and you can see that product id one is chai in our database so really not that complicated all we had to do was create our sql string then we called get sql string command and this automatically created us a SQL command that was of type text, and we can add in our parameters by the name just like that, and then execute our reader.